Hey guys, property search, think Ladfish. I'm Brad Legerwood and this is Property Rant. So today, um, basically I think that we get an objection or a question we get all the time, which is, I don't want to do apartments, you know, or I want to do houses. Very same sort of thing, which is normally the sort of thing, the question. But let's take a look at it because the reality is why are we saying I don't want to do apartments? And normally, and what I'd say as a professional investor and, you know, years of experience as having sold houses and flats, because we do both, okay, um, is that you don't understand apartments, okay? Or you may have had a bad experience from one apartment you know, there could be a whole range of reasons, but basically it comes down to you don't understand the dynamics of play between houses and apartments, all right? Now, let's look at them. So actually, what happens in the marketplace is this. You'll find houses in an area, because let's face it, if I'm gonna choose between living in an apartment and a house, for the most part, people think they're gonna live in houses. Actually, a lot of people by choice now live in, in um, apartments, you know, so it depends whether you've got families, all that sort of stuff, but there is a lot of people now wanting to live in apartments. So there's a definite demand for them. But houses generally will, will go up first. So let's say they go up first. So in the same market, same area, you've got a house and an apartment, the house will shoot up. Then what happens, the, shoot, the house will shoot up to a level where all of a sudden you go, you know what, I reckon it's cheaper to buy an apartment than a house. And then all of a sudden now this will start going up. So a lot of times it's not that you don't want a house over an apartment, it's more a question of where is the market that you're looking into at with houses compared to apartments or apartments compared to houses. Because what you'll find is then what happens is the apartments may go up and then all of a sudden now you go, you know what, houses are very cheap, let's go houses. You know, so it depends on the market. You'll also find that there'll be, a, a, apartments tend to get lots of them built all at once and then there's an oversupply and then what happens is the rents start to drop so they're not as favorable, prices are held down because the rents aren't going up and that's when houses shoot up. So there's a whole range of issues around that. Now yes, there is another aspect to look at which is in a house generally you're not paying a ground rent or a service charge for that. It's generally a freehold property, so you own it, okay? And people think, oh, then there's no cost associated with that. Well, I'll tell you, there is, all right? In the building or in the apartment, you have potentially ground rent and service charge. That service charge is for the building maintenance, which is the same maintenance you're gonna have to do on a house. It's just that you're not, it's not an external company charging it. You have to manage that. And a lot of people come unstuck because what happens is they have to replace a roof, they have to replace air conditioning, heating, boilers themselves. They don't factor those in when actually these can be factored in to the service charge through a sinking fund and things like that. So they're just, they're, you know, they're very similar, but they're different. And when you understand they're different and you understand that the nuances about the apartments, nuances about the houses, you can actually make a fully informed decision as to whether this is better or that is better. But in my general you know, experience, neither is better. It just depends on which part of the market you're in, whether apartments are overpriced, houses are overpriced compared to the other investment. And when you look at, start looking at that, Actually, you can go, you know what, now I'll be doing apartments, but I think there's too many coming on the market, so I'm gonna back out of apartments. But look, there's houses out in the suburbs now that are doing quite well, I'm gonna move there. And then what you'll go, actually, you know what, they're quite high priced because they've gone up quite a bit, but you know what, the city center's sort of apartments are looking quite good, I'll go there, and it's a chop and change, yeah? Depending on where the market is. So it's not about, I don't wanna do houses, I don't like houses. It's about understanding the rules that apply to each of those strategies. All right, guys, have a great day. Live with passion.